Hey folks, welcome back. This is ground zero of where I am recording my course. You can see how high tech it is. Metal and bamboo combined. iPhone overhead. Uh, my delightful microphone. But I just wanted to give you a little taste of uh, one of the cool things we'll be doing in the course. We're going to actually design a, a small project from concept design from the earliest scheme all the way up to the point where you would hand it off to a 2D or 3D CAD. So it's what you would normally do. The, the emphasis of the course is concept design. And it's what you would normally do however you do it, either pencil on paper, or maybe you already do it in Rhino or SketchUp or something. But my contention and the whole emphasis of this course is that there's nothing better than using uh, a pencil in hand uh, and and to combine that with the modern editing tools of Photoshop is just an unbeatable combination. And you can do all that within the confines of an iPad from your living room sofa. So it's a whole new world. Uh, no limit to what we're capable of doing with this iPad. And I'm going to be the one that um, helps you understand how you can do all this in Procreate. So let me just show you this snippet, this little introduction of the design part where I go over what uh, the site is like and what kind of a program we'll be working on. And I hope you enjoy. And if you do, um, just uh, you remember you can go to my website and get more information and sign up for the uh, to, to be the first to know when the course comes out. So the description or the link will be in the description below and um, I'll just keep cranking away and I can't wait to see you in the course and I hope you enjoy this little teaser. Now I'll just say that this is a house for a fictitious client but to be honest that client is me. I don't have the money to do this but this is the house that I would do if I ever did have the money, and maybe I will someday. And it starts with my inspiration. Now, I have always been someone, and notice, by the way, I'm in one of my, one of my actual stacks here. It's called the inspiration stack. And you'll recall that we can use a two-finger expansion and then two-finger shrink to take us back to that gallery. But this is a way of looking through a gallery more quickly than if I were, had to open each image and then close it and open another image and then close it. But let's get back to the mindset of this fictitious client. So that client, in taking me through their project, was able to show me what they loved. And they love urban lofts. They love that industrial aesthetic very high ceilings, beautiful windows. These may no longer be affordable, but this is their kind of thing. But they also love when they see that kind of thing in a wooded site. And this is a very famous house by Bolin, Sawinski, Powell, and Jackson. I believe it was for one of the architect's parents. And when my client saw this, they just fell in love. Here's the interior space. It's a very, at least it was an affordable house in its time. And you can see it sits above the land, so it disturbs a minimum of trees. But they also love the famous case study house by Charles and Ray Ames. The simplicity of this, the cleanness, the openness of it. And inside it has that same loft-like quality with this very tall space. But it has the advantage also of being although this may be partly a myth, it is as affordable as you can imagine uh, a special house like this being. Now, there's no insulation. It won't work for the East Coast, but it has a, a very standard width across the project inside, standard windows. And so you can imagine it being the first step in a kind of a, the most affordable modern house you could imagine. But my client also loves the timeless design of Corbusier's Villa Savoy. This is actually a fairly comical computer rendering of it, but it shows you that, especially that roof terrace. So combined with their urban loft, they were thinking, if you could put an urban loft in the middle of the woods, but also have a roof terrace, that would just about cover everything. And of course, Corbusier has a long history of roof terraces. And this is a rather ironic one that he created early in his career. But 
he realized what a unique thing it was to be up in the air, and especially if that could happen in the woods. That is really what my client is after. So as the man says, the link is in the description below, and it's going to be a fantastic course. I've poured all of my last eight to seven to ten years of experience into it, actually working with Procreate to do concept design myself, and of course to do rendering at the highest possible level. So I know you're going to get a ton out of it, and I can't wait to see you, and I look forward to it.